Hello and welcome to my new bathroom. Um, currently you are sitting in a medicine cabinet because that's how we do things around here. Um, and today is gonna be a makeup tutorial for just an everyday look. And of course, as you know, makeup is in layers so you can add to it to give it a, you know, a night out feel. Um, mainly what I'll be using is my new Tarte products. I got sent these and I've always known about Tarte and I have actually a couple products from them, but it was just like this like lip stain and stuff, and I'm in love with them. I don't know why I wasn't using this earlier. So yeah, but then I'll be mixing in some of my products because there's more to it than what I have here. Alrighty, so let's begin. First things first, always wash your face. You can't just be putting makeup on top of dirt and, and whatever else is in the air. So that is just asking for a breakout. Um, what I like to do to not get any of the stuff in my hair is always put my hair back. So that's what we're gonna do. Alright, which one's first? Okay, first we're gonna put on that, which is the BB tinted treatment. I've done blogging about the BB creams and all the different types, so. You can, I guess, refer to back to that if you have any questions. So this also has SPF 30 in it, which is a good amount of sunscreen. The lowest, I think, is like 15, so it's like double that. It's a good amount for your face. You just use a little bit. Oh, step. Oh, like, maybe a little too dark my face, okay? Because I Okay. Putting on any tinted moisturizer is the best thing you can do before putting on concealers and foundation. And even if you're just going out and you don't want to put a lot of makeup on, that's what I do every day. I never put makeup on my face unless it's important and I have to. Um, just tinted moisturizer and then do my eyebrows and then bam, we're ready to go. Um, let's see what next. Okay. This one is a 12 hour brightening primer. Now you don't need these, but it's always great and it's like puzzle. The more pieces you have to make the image, the better it's going to look, okay? So, and it's a brightening primer, so it's not just good for keeping on makeup and making it look smooth and poreless, but it's also good for brightening underneath the makeup, so it just looks. I like this stuff because it's not too thick. It feels light, but it's like thick at the same time so that it just feels smooth. I don't know how to describe it really. Okay, next we're gonna put on the Clean Slate, Clean Slate 360 Creaseless 12 Hour Eye Primer. Boom, that's what it looked like. Next. Oh yeah, they sent me this brush for the foundation, so let's try that out. I'm usually a sponge kind of gal, but Always up to try new things. Okay, so this is uh, this also has SPF 15. That's good um, It's Amazonian clay full coverage foundation um, 12 hour makeup oil free makeup light to medium boom and uh, Man, I wish I still had the box because it goes on about all the stuff that they put in their products so they're against animal testing and they put some diamond dust or something like that in it and there's all these vitamins so it's actually good for your skin when you're putting it on. Just good. Always also go under your neck. You ever see those pictures of your friends on Facebook and their face looks like a ghost and just looks like it was like superimposed on them because it's so white or it's too dark? Yeah, that's because they don't smooth it to their neck. Doo -doo -doo -doo. I actually really like this thing. It's freaking quite nice. What is next? What is next? Okay, so we've got this creaseless concealer. We also have waterproof concealer. So I guess we use these in two different places. First off, 
creaseless concealer. So then, wherever you're putting it, you always have to do like a little, little radius to a big radius around the area just to smooth it over. Don't worry about your lips and stuff like that. You can clean that off after. I have a lot on my mouth right now. <laughs> Best lighting right now. I cannot speak today. Just nothing's coming out right. <clears throat> okay, so this is also Amazonian clay waterproof concealer in light medium beige. This is where my sponge comes into play. Because when you sponge it, it leaves it on thicker, so it gets in like I don't know. I guess all the pores and on top and around, sad, sad. Um, you're able to just like pat it on and leave it there. Whereas when you're using like your fingers or brush, it's more like smearing, so it's thinner. And it's good to have that for a while, like for your first couple layers. But as you're getting to like covering things much better. <laughs> Some of my makeup is missing. Somewhere in the mood. I don't like that. So, it looks like we're gonna have to go with what I got here. It's really interesting. Oh, I guess we could do eyebrows first. I'm gonna use another Tarte product. First one, Okay, first off, pluck the eyebrows. We don't have time for that, so we're gonna skip that and I'm gonna do that later tonight when I have time. Um, so this thing right here is called Emphasize for brows. <laughs> In the sodium clay waterproof brow pencil. So see that? It's got a little tip so you can brush your eyebrows. It's always important. My eyebrows are ridiculous right now. People keep getting on me about pulling my face. A makeup artist has never told me that. It's only people on Instagram or on YouTube. And you know what? I say screw it. If you think it's gonna give me wrinkles, then maybe it'll give me wrinkles. But it is so much easier to do my makeup. I can always get good precision. So, I'm gonna keep doing it. Eyebrows are so important, which not everybody knows, because it really shapes your face. If you change your eyebrows, different face shape. So that's why part of my daily routine is the tinted moisturizer and eyebrows. Because you can make them look sharp, makes your eyes look away. It's just, I don't know. If you don't do your eyebrows, do them and see the difference. It's pretty amazing. All right, next step is a Amazonian clay waterproof brown mousse. Mousse. <laughs> Looks like this. And then has a brush that came with like that. Now, I just brushed my eyebrows, but if you're only using those, brush them out. Then it comes with this. And then to give a sharper point at the end, which I'm not going to do right now but you can do um just get a q-tip lick it clean it up make it sharp um wait do i have q-tips right here i should oh snap got it on my finger see that one looks a little sharper and cleaner than the other brow. My eyebrows are so jacked up.
No time to be a perfectionist. Um, next up, I even my regular brush is missing. I wonder what I packed it for. Oh no, here it is. Okay. So, um, this isn't the usual one I use, it's what I used to use. Who makes this? That looks like that. Doesn't matter. Just get a bronzer or a contour thing. Trick with makeup. Okay. For people who feel that you usually look like they have a semi double chin in a picture, take your bronzer, go along the line right there. And then of course blend it, smooth it out, like that, and then it'll make it look more defined. Um, what else? Of course you can do, you know, stuff like this that shapes your face, blah, 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 blah. It's not what I usually do though. Mm. Ah, my hair is on ice, even though I pulled it back. Um, felt like there was something else I won't tell you. Alright, screw it. Next thing. <laughs> Tarte. This is color Tipsy. It's got a little bit of a salmon color to it, which is good because if you find blushes that have like an orange mixed with a light pink tone or has like gold shimmer in it, mostly salmon colors, it's just the most natural looking, so. Those are always awesome. This is a cheek stain, so I'm just gonna put it underneath and use a little more blush on top. Oh yeah, I remember the thing I wanted to say. Okay, so pictures. Do you feel like when you look at, at your photos that it barely looks like you're wearing any makeup and that pretty much pointless because you look the same without it? <laughs> um, yeah, that happens a lot until I figured out that um, people when you see them on the red carpet like when you see them in person you're like man girl you have a lot of makeup on but when you see them in pictures it looks perfect it looks you know not natural because of course they're wearing makeup but just perfect the way it's supposed to be so if you're going to a party and you're gonna take a bunch of pictures make your makeup just a little bit darker than you would if you saw it and were like okay that's natural that's perfect make it just a little bit darker um, and that's the trick then um, another product I really liked, it's one of my favorites, is this L'Oreal Visible Lift. And that's the kind of color I was telling you. It has gold hues to it, it's a little orange, it's a little pink, it's just so natural, and that's usually what I use. Today we are going to try Tarte's Blissful, yet another Amazonian clay for 12 hour blush. Okay, so that's what it looks like. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> Just dab it. Dab it, fools. Um, start from the back, okay? If you put way too much blush towards your face, you're gonna look like a creepy Swedish doll or something. You don't wanna do that. You don't wanna do that. Always in layers. Don't just be smothering your brush and putting it on your face. No, you can't take away unless you wanna completely restart. So, start light, add to it. Um, a thing I learned when doing a couple other people's faces that I really liked and didn't notice that I was even doing it on myself is you have your cheekbone like this, so go like that, and then when you hit the, um, what is that, the apples of your cheeks, you start going down a little bit more, you blend, like that, so it's like kind of a pot looking motion. always add a little bit right here even if you're gonna put on dark makeup it looks natural and pretty I like it I don't like it a lot um, okay so I think that's it for the dark products moving on this benefit highbrow stuff pretty amazing it's a highlighter so you don't have to just use it on your brows you can use it anywhere you want I put some right here to brighten this up. I'm not using any of my highlighting stuff, which you would usually use under um, 
before or after the dark bronzer or contour, use highlighter in this general area, this area, um, right here, right here, and then, yeah, that way. And I am missing some of my makeup, so I won't be doing that, but you can do it if you have it. Um, what's left? Okay, so you're pretty much done, except for if I'm going to put on makeup for a natural look, I like, this is going to be NYX, Love in Paris, it's natural tones. I use this one right up here because it doesn't look like you're really wearing eyeshadow. It's just for contouring of your eyes. And then you can do as light or dark as you want on that. Touch your like bone right there. That's where you should be putting it because it opens up your eyes. And I guess last but not least is mascara. Mascara. Oh man, I don't have my gold thing. Okay, so they sent me an awesome gold one like this, which I'll have to bring in another video. It's in the other room and I don't want to stop recording, so I'm just gonna use my MAC one. If you don't have an eyelash curler, you're silly, go get one. They're an essential. To laugh as a woman, as a woman. <laughs> I got issues, people. Issues! Um. Look how clean all their products go on. This is why I'm officially, as of like a couple weeks ago, obsessed with Tarte. Um, this is their mascara, which one's this one? Oh yeah, it's called Lights, Camera, Lashes. It's a four-in-one mascara. Four in one? Is it one of the twisty ones? I don't know. I don't know what that means by a four in one. And then after that dries for a second, where you brush them open. Um I like to add in another coat right at the end. It's always prettiest when that's like the thickest part. I want to add at the bottom, do it very lightly. Sent me a bunch of lip things and have some pretty natural ones. Which one should we go with? I'm gonna go with the lighter pink one. Alrighty, let's wrap it up. I finished my lips with Fearless. Looks like this. Like that one a lot. Um, alrighty, so this is what it looks like. Um, hope you found it helpful. And if you have any questions, you can always write me in my comments or at my blog, dannythornsworld.com or my Twitter, Instagram, at danny underscore thorn. Um, let me know what you guys think, and if you have any ideas of what you want to specifically see, you let me know. <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching guys. Bye.